Okay, so here's the thing. I hate assignments. And here's a little backstory that you should listen to. So if you're wondering how my jacket changed, well, that's the other thing because I recorded that scene yesterday. But here's the thing. This was my result of my last sim. And you can see, I got literal zero in all of the assignment because I haven't submitted one. And that's really sickening. I need to fix that. And the problem is I can't try it. That's the problem. I have a problem with writing i have to fix some i have to fix this thing otherwise i'm gonna fail in today's video what we're going to do we're gonna make the machine that's gonna write the assignment for us with the help of chat gpt and that machine and it's gonna be fully automated process so although i don't have to even touch a page i just need to load the pages and it's gonna automatically write and do everything for us so let's begin this video then I started the designing process which took like total of 10 hours to me and after completing the design I printed all the parts using my Elegant Neptune 4 which took like 2 days to finish and then I started assembling all the parts until I found a few parts were not fitting properly so I redesigned and reprinted them. And there you have it, a Core XY 2D plotter and I'm using 12mm linear dots and a controller board was salvaged from my old Creality Zender 3 so it's a Creality 4.2.2 board. And I also added the fan to make it more automated. The fan or you can say vacuum suction system enable the plotter to automatically pick up the page allowing the plotter to continue writing on the page below it. Well, it's a problem solving time. With every project, here comes some challenges. I'm currently facing two problems with this. The first, the stepper motor is not powerful enough to lift this vacuum mechanism because the fan is quite heavy. And secondly, the fan is not powerful enough to effectively suck the paper. And it always slips when I try to lift the paper using its suction power. So my solution to this is to use my old car vacuum cleaner and take out the motor and a fan, which is specifically designed for suction and create a casing to make a more efficient and powerful paper lifting mechanism. So you can see, it's like super strong so i think it can be useful so i designed a new casing for the motor and the fan that we have extracted from an old car vacuum cleaner and it's a pretty basic design the front suck in the air and at the back i have added some spacing so let's give it a try okay so you can see it's just Okay, that was quite harsh. The fan is too powerful and literally sucked the paper and tearing apart. I don't think this is good for my assignment. I think I need to design a guard to place in front of the fan to prevent the paper from tearing by getting into the blades. So this is after installing the guard, it's working great. However, stepper motor is still having a hard time to lift this fan. Okay, after extensive brainstorming and diagnosing the problem, initially I was thinking I need to add a gear reduction system in order to lift this vacuum mechanism until I realized actually the issue was with the power supply. I was using 12 volt 10 amp power supply which wasn't at all sufficient enough to provide enough power for all the stepper motor to work at their full potential. To fix that, I switched to 24 volt 15 amp power supply to make it work, to have like enough power for all the stepper motor. And another issue was the fan. Since it was 12 volt fan, I need to add a buck converter to step down the 24 volt current to 12 volt current for the fan and i also shortened the arm length which made it easier for the stepper motor to lift the vacuum mechanism as the distance between the motor and the shaft is now shorter okay so here's the problem i done something which is really really wrong so the problem is i have broken the holder a thing which holds the sd card of this goddamn controller board now i cannot use the sd card with this controller as i insert this thing but it unable to hold itself so now that's another issue and it's pretty deep inside so i have to like really hard for me to take it out so i have to use this plier to in order to take this thing out so now i've broken this port of this controller board so i have to find some solution for it now i have to find some solution or to make this thing work since i can't use the sd card in this thing now so i got an idea my algo printer is wireless so i can operate it using a wi-fi which is connected via ethernet so now the thing is to make this 2d plot of wireless all you need is a smartphone an old smartphone which is just lying around so you can get this smartphone and download the app called octoforre i've given the link in the description i also provided a detailed video you can watch that in order to understand this thing how it's worked so download the app and connect the wi-fi like connect to your local router and that's it so now it's gonna octo print it starting it's gonna take a few minutes whenever you open the app and make sure you're using the right version i'm using 0.05 since there's like latest version is 1.2.5 but the thing is it does not support on my phone so i have to go with this version which is still good then you got the app you got the smartphone then you need a otg which you're gonna connect it to your smartphone and then you need a cable which you're gonna connect it and that's it now connect the another side of the cable to your controller board 
you're gonna get the IP address here, which you're gonna enter in your browser and you can easily control this thing, that's it. So this is how your Octoprint dashboard looks like after you do all the setup, which is pretty easy to do. And from here, you can control your machine, you, you can send the G code, you can control all the access. So let's give it a home. Okay, so the homing is successful. Now let's give it a trial run and write something. Okay, so this is the result. I know it's not looking good because there's some problem in the G code. That's why the Z axis was not lifting. And that's why you can see all those lines between the text. But the thing is, even though if you fix this thing, the writing still gonna look like a computer generated writing. And somehow I put it on a paper. So my teachers won't gonna accept this handwriting for an assignment. So I have to find a way so that I can get a human like handwriting so that they're unable to detect whether it's written by me or by some machine. So while I was doing the research on how to generate human like writing, so I found this GitHub repository called handwriting synthesis by Alex Graves so basically it's a Python code a bunch of Python code using which you can generate a human like text so I think I can use this repo and an Inkscape software to generate a human like assignment so let's try okay so this is the result you can see the writing it looks like it's written by human I mean it's Super natural, I would say. What do you say about this thing? This was the first result. I know it's absolute crap. So let's just throw that thing. So let's go with this and let's fully test this machine and see how it's gonna perform. So that from now onwards, I'm gonna get full marks in my assignments. Okay, so this is what the handwriting looks like. It looks like, clearly looks like a written by human. I mean, there's like one, it's a human writing. Unlike my older short that I uploaded and which I'll use it, use some default Microsoft font, but this one is literally <laughs> looks like a written by human. If I show you my original handwriting, the way I write. Okay, so this is what my writing looks like when I am writing like really fast. So if I want to, I can improve this thing. So you can say like this writing is an improved version of this handwriting. I'll, like almost it's almost same what do you say about it? let me know in comment okay so what do you say about this like well it's not an assignment because i haven't got one till now but still it's like a test print it's fully automated i haven't touched the machine and it wrote three pages i can wrote like 10 11 12 whatever the teacher asks now i have no problem writing a long 20 pages assignment because oh it's easy and uh, now i'm waiting for the assignment i hope they send and i'm gonna throw them on their face and this time i'm gonna get 20 out of 20. wait Hold on, what's, what's this? There, there's a message came on WhatsApp to a college group. God, hell. I make one thing, they literally do something which is unexpectable. Now, it's time to study. But if you're really interested in this machine and want to buy one, well, I can provide you a direct buy link as of now because I have to still work on this to make it more consumer friendly so that you people can easily operate this thing. And for that, I need enough consumer base who is interested in this product. So I, what I did, I have provided a Google form link down below on, the, on that. You can fill you all your details and provide me your email. And if I see there are enough requests to make this product economically viable and more consumer friendly. As of now, this is mainly a DIY project. To make it more consumer friendly, I need enough people who is interested in this machine so that it can be economically viable for everybody. So you can go fill that form. That's the first link in the description and that's it.